Hello and welcome to our video. Today we're making an informative Evelyn type gameplay where I try to voice all of my thoughts while playing in what well, should probably be like gold or something, I guess. I haven't played in this account in years, so I have no clue. Last time I played in this account, I went 40 kills, so I'm guessing it's a gold. But I can just ask them what the other people are. Okay, so we can go any runes we want. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh, let's just go something that most people go. And Rengar. These people are real comedians. Since he typed something this stupid, it's probably gold. Um, yeah. We could go Dark Harvest, but it's really useless. Like, it just does nothing. Like, even if you're playing in really low elo, it just does nothing. Because if you look at the scaling of these runes, Electrocute is 30 to 180 base damage compared to Dark Harvest being 20 to 60. And you're not gonna multi kill that much on Evelyn, and even if you do, like, Dark Harvest will not be the reason you're multi killing. Um, so the impact is pretty obvious. Eyeball, you could also go the other ones, but it's kind of hard to stack the other ones because you prefer to swap to Blue Trinket at some point. Um, you could technically stay on Yellow Trinket and stack a rune like that, but I just kind of find it not so worth it. Um, and then here, I suppose you could take something else, but it's just kind of pointless again, because if you really need the ultimate hunter, the cooldown reduction, then you might as well just buy cooldown reduction with the items, which will have more value anyway. And treasure hunter is just... Like, it got nerfed. Before it got nerfed, you could still argue for it in some way, but now it's just... Eh. Like... You just don't get enough for it to be worth it, really. Though secondary tree, you can think about more stuff. You can think about Nimbus. You can think about Inspiration. I just don't really want to do any of that. I'll just go the most standard rune page, which is probably what most of you play anyway. We have a pretty decent draft, pull AD. Um, enemy has an okay draft against us as well. Not that free to invade, not that... Uh, Free to kill laners, I suppose. So, it would be interesting enough. When I see these lanes, though, I'm thinking I kind of want to play for bot lane and mid lane, maybe a bit. But mostly towards bot side is the point. Um, because top side, it's kind of like this guy has no CC for me, while Fiora actually has escapes. So, it's really disgusting trying to gank that. <laughs> okay, Riot Games trying to let us into game, copium. Let's see what we play in. We play in like, ah, low goals as silver. Okay, that's fine. That is a okay. <laughs> okay, so as I said, I prefer to go bot side here. You can go top side as well, it's up to you, really. Even if you go topside, your game plan won't really change. Our game plan here is going to just be to full clear at first. Um, technically, you can level 3 gank bot lane. You can probably level 3 gank top lane as well. You can level 3 gank mid lane as well. And with the way that the laners are set up, you can also look for a level 1 invade here. And if you were to want to do that, then you would probably do it on the bottom side of the map i suppose because then you split the map and you would get the split like this where your bot lane can just bully the enemy bot lane but we're not gonna do that because i don't really recommend it for anyone who's below like high diamond so i won't do it either since we're playing below high diamond this is more of an informative game rather than trying to win game but we most likely will win anyway. Let me see if any of my settings are weird. Not sure. Guess not. Okay. 
We're just gonna cover here. We're not gonna avoid anything though because we're not expecting a level 1 invade from a Volley Bear. A Fiora could level 1 invade us technically, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, I don't think that any Fioras really level 1 invade consistently below like Master, so don't need to think about it too much. Technically, you can also start enemy Raptors or some, something like that. And you could do many paths with that, but as I said, we're not really gonna adapt that much in our first clear. So, let's just play for our full clear. Not too much to note here as you start. Um, this kite, the blue buff. Mind it, of course, because you're level 1 with no leash. Just kite it between its auto attacks. You can kite it pretty far as well. Oh, the fuck? That was so weird. <laughs> Usually you get 3 E's on this, but I think because of the way that I did it, because I eat super late, I maybe should only use 2. I'm not sure. Yeah. Somehow I failed to level up my E, but that's fine. We can all fail our clear a bit sometimes. Too much of an issue. Uh, Wolf's camp, really simple. You just hold your second E. And then you get the wolf to around 300 HP, then you kite it to the middle of the mid lane. And don't get minion blocked like this, but that's just because I'm late, because I failed my blue buff. This camp as well, really simple, just Q and E. You Q the big raptor two times, and then after you Q the big raptor two times, you can Q the red buff. Red buff, kinda same thing as the other camps really, just E and Q until it dies. My laners are fighting quite a bit, but I don't care too much about it. That's fine. This thing is kind of annoying where it pulls to camp because sometimes it makes you do the small raptor instead of the big one. Not the biggest fan of that, but it's fine. So yeah, our clear is like 5 seconds late, but it's fine. So here we can technically kill the bot lane if you want, because the ADC is always going to greet this. Like, there's just no way he doesn't walk up randomly for no reason. Or just recall too far up in general. Oh. Oh. Fine. I also prefer this because having a random kill in bot lane would make the game a bit less informative, so that's good. That's free kill though, if you just want it. That's great though. It's shaping up to be a Monka S game. It's good. We're just going to try to stop this guy from shoving in. Nothing to really say about that, just don't really want him to crash. Because if he doesn't crash, then it uh, is a lot worse for his laner. Don't walk up too far because he still beats you. Because he's a bruiser and you are a little succubus. We're gonna clear again until we get the items we want, which is probably Sorix. Here you can dive top lane and it's a free kill, but I won't do that. <sighs> because I want to play from an even-ish position at level 6. So we're assuming that your early game goes wrong. We're just gonna clear again. Our goal at the moment is just to get level 6 as soon as possible and then abuse our level 6 spike. If you play the mid lane fight really well you can kill Volley Bear. If you play the bot lane fight, fine, you kill Zaya. If you go top lane, you kill Fiora already. But I want to show that you can miss all of those things and you don't really need to focus on them too much or worry about them. And you can still win. And do like really well. There's really no reason to focus on doing the stuff that like you have to recognize and 
that you might not recognize, right? And beating yourself up over that, rather than the really consistent plays that are always on the map. Okay, not much to say here. Cool, I'll ping this. Why not? So I got my items that we prefer to play with. And now all I really want is to get a scuttle, preferably. And maybe some random XP from a lane or scuttle in blue or something like that. Okay, Volley very even survived. Very cool. He got level 6. Very cool. Let's see if this gives us 6. It does. So we're gonna just check for these camps. This is down. Ah. Okay. So let's play for his blue buff then. Or a gank mid. So we're level 6, so just gank something or fight something, whatever really. And luckily this happened. It'd be that way sometimes. Could have waited longer and then Cled would come and it would probably work. Kinda hard to invade though because it's Folly Bear, otherwise we would invade. And the bot lane isn't reacting properly, so... We can't really kill Volibear until his ult is down, just because of the nature of the matchup. I might just make a... Oh... Okay, I guess? I suppose. Let's just ult so you don't die randomly. I might just make like a short guide thing for every matchup, for what you have to do to kill them, I suppose. Maybe, I don't know. I would prefer not to do dragon. I want to fight Volibear. That guy just blasted on me. But I have my bot lane here, so I should be fine. I could have died there, but not really too much of an issue. Use his ult now, which is pretty good for me. Now I just want to clear again and get myself really big. Sadly, the our lanes are doing way too well this game, which is a bit depressing. As I wanted it to be a pretty hard game. Well, it would appear our lanes are winning. You can just gank bot lane here, but again, I won't do that. I will just clear. So we're sticking to the principle of just clear, do whatever between the clears, so like gank or whatever if we see it, and then play for either ganks or invades or whatever at level 6 with your ult. Right now our ult is down, so we just don't do anything. Our ult is coming up though, so we can look for a fight again. But let's just finish our clear. Yeah. Our ult is up, so we're gonna look for a fight again. Okay. The fight is here. But we need to play it slow, as otherwise the enemy won't fight us. Very simple, just backwards ult to get close to the enemy. Not really too much to be said about that. And we're gonna try to get the scuttle maybe. No. Touch. Dang it. 
But we used our ult, so we can just do whatever for now. Dragon is fine, even. If our bot lane helps us, I don't mind doing Dragon, it won't take us that long. No, that's base, since we have a lot of gold. So we're just following the basic principles, right? Clear. Play on the map with ult. And then... Recall with gold. Right now we have an item advantage, so we probably should push that. We could just clear as well. Honestly, you can just clear if you want. You really don't need to overthink the game that much and make it super hard for yourself. Because you don't need to play optimally to win, right? While my laners are doing pretty well, it's not like they're hard stomping every lane or something, you know? So it's fine. So we see this guy low HP and no mana, so let's fight him. He has no mana, so free kill. We know his flash is down from before, because he flashed away from us last time we ganked him. If you remember that. And now we're just gonna keep farming. So, at this point, we see the enemy blue buff is coming up, right? And we're having our... We have our ult up, right? We are in possession of our ultimate ability. So, we're just gonna walk to the enemy blue buff and try to fight. Because that's the most likely place we can find the fight. Let's ward this real quick. And then we see this guy low, so let's go fight him. We can't fight him? Okay. Not an issue. Take enemy camp then. So we can see Volibear top lane, and we know that the enemy ADC is going to be walking back to lane, right? We have our ult, so... Why don't we go bully the enemy ADC, right? And now we also know that the enemy support died after the enemy ADC, and he's probably going to be walking to lane as well, no? So we just kill him as well. Then we can take a camp. And then since these two don't have their death timers linked up, we can just go again. There isn't really an issue with that, right? Like, what is he gonna do? About it. Now, don't send that bush because he can queue the bush. So you just kill him again. Then you can just try the Lux again. And just kill her again. And you can just base because you have a lot of gold. Because we're following our basic principles, right? When we have our ult, we look for fights. And then when we don't have our ult, we're either basing if we have a lot of gold or we're farming. So now we had a lot of gold. We bought our items. And now let's go farm. We don't have our ult. We can technically just fight the mid laner and kill him again. But I mean, you don't need to do that. That's what I'm trying to show in this uh, game as well. Like, it's not like you need to do that. You can just add more um, refined parts of your gameplay as you get a bit better, right? Like, if you're silver, there's re like if you're silver and like low gold, like this Eva, there is really no reason why you need to be really adaptable and play like really insanely well and whatever, right? I think you just chill. We're just literally going to follow the basic rules that we made for ourselves, right? And that way we'll get pretty consistent results in all of our games. So we just farm again. Our ult is coming up in 20 seconds, so let's wait for that.
right now you could kill Zaya, you could kill like enemy top laner if you wanted to. Kill enemy mid laner. Whatever. So everyone's bot side, so we don't really have anyone to fight. So let's just do the neutral. Why not? There is literally no one to fight in top side, so let's just do this real quick then. So we did the neutral objective and we still have our ult, so let's go look for a fight. Most people are around mid lane, so let's look to fight around mid. Now we can just walk away. Take some enemy camps. Our ult is down, so we won't really look to fight now. We are really strong and we can fight, but why? Why do it? Just take enemy camps if you can. If you can't, then take your own camps. It's whatever, really. Take anything you want. Okay. So I know enemy red buff is up, so I could just take that as well. And then my ult is coming up, right? Free kill, why not? I guess I'll just take it. And now I have my ult, so I'm gonna look to fight. So we killed the enemy, we used our ult, now let's farm again. We have a lot of gold though, so all we're gonna really farm for is our next item and then we're gonna base. There we go, a lot of gold, so let's base. So we won't have our ult yet. So we're just gonna chill again. Okay, let's just clear. I would prefer to be on this side of the map after clearing, because the camps here are gonna spawn, so... I'll start clearing from top side so that I can go like this and jump here. <clears throat> so you can see we almost have 10 CS a minute and we have a lot of kills, even though we've been borderline griefing this whole game. Well, it's not like grief griefing, but for anyone who is above, like, Diamond 4, this gameplay is griefing what I'm doing this game. But you can see that it doesn't really matter. You can play like this and it's perfectly fine. And eventually, you can just add more stuff to your gameplay and refine it that way. Like right now, my ult is up, so I will look for a fight again. But this is a very simple way to reason your way into what you're doing, right? You can see how much damage I'm doing. It's really not hard to play when you're this fed and this formed, right? And again, I used my ult, so I will just clear. Clear enemy camps, clear my own camps, whatever. I can try to help my team a little bit. I'd prefer to just do Baron though. Since enemies are dead. I feel man advantage, so we could just do Baron, but... My team doesn't want to, it seems, so it's fine. Just gonna peel my team if anything does happen. I won't shot call, tell them not to do this because they will do this in your games. Ah, and my teammate will die. Okay. That's fine. So while my teammates were doing really well early game, it's not like they're doing that amazing now. They're doing kind of meh now. 
What is to be expected considering the champions they're picking? You can just look for free picks now if you want since you're so fed. Like even without your ult you can look for fights at this point. Or you can just wait for your ult always and still not fight without your ult at all. It's up to you really. If you feel comfortable fighting without your ult then you can do that. If you don't, don't do that. Fine. It doesn't really matter. Because it's really not hard to win from this position at all. Oh. So yeah, I'm just using my spells, I don't know. Not much to really say about this. So right now... I can keep trying to help my team to do something. They can hit. Then we can just take Dragon afterwards. Why not? You can see I really didn't have to play that well. Like you might think, ah, I need to be like Faker. I need to be like insane Smurf to go like 20 kills in silver and gold. Like you really don't. Like you can play pretty bad and still get like 20 kills. In pretty much all of your games. Like this game. I told you how many kills I missed and there is even more plays that I missed on the map. I'll even go into replay after the game and I'll show you how many kills I really missed. And how many plays. Now I'm just gonna clear again so I get level 16. It's our rules like we play for spikes and we play for items and stuff like that. What's he doing? I'm it. What? Did he try to give me last hit or what? I don't know. That's a crazy guy. Didn't this get nerfed? Yeah, it got hella nerfed. Da, da, da. You could just bait and buy a really cocaine item now. So like right now I should be with my team, but instead I'm just gonna base. And buy like insane item. And you will do this often as well, even though it's not very good. So now we're gonna just play for Baron. Okay, so what's the plan? You take one or more inhibs. If possible, if not, okay. And you just play for Baron. And then you try to push the lanes that are the least pushed out. So what are we gonna do after this? Push out top lane. So let's take this and then let's go shot call to push out top lane. Now with our ult and flash up, we can just flash on the enemies, which are the most annoying in the enemy team. One shot them and force end the game. Because you're that fed. Oh, sometimes you fail. Happens. I knew that wouldn't kill me, you could just ulted though from the start. I actually ended up dying to a minion I think? Or something? I don't know what I died to. Red buff? How did Senna apply red buff to me? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. There. Okay, we died, that's fine. That is fine. That's even better actually. So okay, we die, what do we do now? We just chill. So, same plan as before. We're really strong, so let's just kill the people who are annoying. So like these two maybe, or these three, or Fiora. Like anyone that's not the MR stacker. And then let's push out a lane. So let's just pick which lane is more minion heavy. So let's push bot lane since enemy is pushing out top lane, right? So we have no wave there. Now we will look for a pick. And if we don't find a pick, then we will go annoy the enemy in their base. Okay, very nice. So again, lanes with towers. Let's push out the one that has the most minions. Uh, 
ta ta So okay, now let's look for a fight. But I believe we can even kill the people with MR, but we don't prioritize killing them. I don't want to one you fight that fight because you're not gonna do that probably. Let's just make it more realistic. So okay. Okay, I guess. I can technically kill the enemy here for what they just did, but whatever. Okay, so my team is griefing a bit, right? So what do we do here? Okay, let's just play for the next neutral objective. So, Infernal Dragon. Look for picks if we can find those. It should be pretty simple to find a random pick. As long as you know what you're looking for, right? So, we're looking for the people who don't have a lot of MMR. And we're looking for people who are more isolated so we don't get one shot. Right. And now we just play for a neutral objective. Then we're gonna keep doing the same thing that we've been doing until now, which hasn't really been working. But just because it doesn't work, it doesn't mean that it's not good or fine, right? So again, lane which has the most, like, pushing potential, so... The Zen hit would be really nice to have, right? Let's just fight something with our ult, I don't know. And since we just killed the enemy, we can probably just end the game as well. If you don't kill the enemy, you take the inhib, and then you go bot lane again and you try to push it out. Honestly, I don't think we can even end the game through mid lane, so... Still, let's do the same thing. Pretty sure she has W. Not 100% sure though. Again, I want to play into the side. My team wants to grief a bit, apparently, still. That's fine. They killed the enemy. That's good. We have ult again. Can't really kill, they're too fast. So again, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. Which is clear the enemy jungle, but we can see that this guy's ending, so let's just kill him. Since it was very obvious he was walking up in the minimap, right? So now since enemy jungler is dead, we will take the Baron. I think this is about as simple as I can make my gameplay. I don't really think I could play much worse than this. A while keeping any kind of rules, so I think this is pretty reproducible for any of you. Yeah. Let's base because we have a lot of gold, same rules as before. What rules are we really following this game? Whenever we have a lot of gold we're basing, whenever we have our ult we're fighting, and whenever neither is true, we are farming. Pretty simple, no? That's been 90% of this game. And sometimes we just decide that you fight randomly or whatever. Because we're really strong and we can just do whatever we want really. You could also buy Banshees here which makes it easier to play the game. Um, but I don't really need it. Look at this point you can just flash on the enemy whenever you want. And just kill them. Up to you really how you play this. So preferably you would still push side lanes, again you should call that, but um, since the Nexus Towers are down, we can play for end. 
Lol. Like at this point, you just try to do a lot of damage whenever you can. I'm not gonna do too much. And I guess we won. Yeah, GG. So, I'll go into the replay now and show you just how much I really gave up in terms of potential plays I could have made if I wanted to, but due to wanting to make the replay as simple as possible, I skipped out on most of them. Wow, we started iron. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, so let's get it right into it. Okay, <clears throat> I'll show it in like four times speed. So as I said, you do have the pot potential of level one invading as your Champions are stronger, level 1, but um, don't really have to do that. Then again, you can level 3 gank anything you want. So for example here, you could technically take W and just level 3 gank top lane. And in most scenarios, it probably work in the silo. Then here, you should for sure adapt and just go bot lane and kill this guy and if you play this normally you still kill him i just didn't really care so i just did whatever if he escapes he escapes i don't care here you should probably counter gank mid lane but you wouldn't really change anything then this volley bear is eating things so you can probably kill him or force his flash at least this is just a free kill as i said in the replay there is no way she can avoid you diving her. Only way for her to really avoid it is just to base and TP, but no one's gonna do that here. Then again, here you can just walk into bot lane, skip like one cap, walk into bot lane, just use W and just gank these two. Should be a really free killer too, but I just won't do that. The reason it's really free is because of the way that the wave is, they need to push out and you have a really strong all-in bot lane. So if you're helping them all-in as well, then it's just really free. You also know that these two don't have flashes because they use them to get away from you and stuff like that. Then now you have the... I mean, I don't know. Don't really have that much extra here. Like you just do whatever you want. This was fine. But then... <sighs> I don't know. Fight a bit, I suppose. But what was the next time I gave up kills? Oh yeah, here. Like here at this point, you're so strong technically that you can just keep fighting. Like right now, instead of walking topside and just clearing, it's very easy to just gank bot lane with your bot lane coming to lane with items. There isn't really much of a reason why you can't just gank it again. You could also technically try to fight this guy on Herald. Because you get your ult earlier than he does. Which is something you do know because you ulted here and he ulted here, so he ulted way later than you. And if you look at the ult cooldowns, 145, 109, so your cooldown is even lower cooldown. So there's just no way he would have it before you. But yeah, so while we are 2-0-2 with 80 CS at 10 minutes, we could very easily this game have another, I don't know, 5 kills or something. But yeah, I hope that this was somewhat instructive to some of you, and it showed you some ideas as to how you can simplify your Evelyn gameplay. And um, if you enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.